Hi guys, it's the NPC Sim, and I'm back today with another body shop tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make eyelashes. So let's get started. The first thing you want, you're going to want to do is to open up body shop. So to do that, you press start, and you go to all programs. You're going to find your EA Games folder and click. And um, there's going to be a list of all the games or all the expansion packs you downloaded. You're going to look for the most recently downloaded expansion pack. So you, once you find it, you click on it, and then you just click Body Shop. And Body Shop, depending on how much custom content you have in your downloads folder, will take about five to ten minutes to start up. Mine normally takes about three to five minutes at least. So now we play the waiting game. Oh wow, it's actually moving pretty fast. That's nice. Okay, once your body shop starts up, you're going to go to Create Parts, Start New Project, Create Facial Hair, Makeup, and Glasses, and you're going to go into the Makeup section, and you're going to click on Eyeliner. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go through all of this stuff, and go to the two default ones that are right here, and you're going to click on this one because it's a lot more... Um, it's a lot more bolder than the other one. So click on that one and click export selected textures and you can name it this whatever you want. Tutorial. And then you just click this little check and it will export. Alright, now once that starts up you're going to open up your editing program. Uh, the ones you want to use would be something like Photoshop or GIMP. You do not want to use Microsoft Paint. It is a pain in the butt. I use GIMP. It's a lot and it's free. It's a really nice program and it's easy to use too. All right, once GIMP starts up, you are going to open up your project file. So you're going to go to File, Open. You click on Documents, EA Games, The Sims 2. You're going to find your Projects folder and the folder that you had. Eyeliner. And you're going to open up the UU Face Eyeliner Alpha. All right. So, what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in. That's pretty good. Yeah, you want to zoom a little bit, that way you can um, see all that you're doing with your eye. So once you, you're you zoomed in to however far in you want, you're going to click on your smudge tool. And the scales at 1.0, that is way too massive. <laughs> so what you're going to do is take your scale down and give it maybe about 20, I think, is a good number. All right, once you have that all set up, you're going to click like on this little gray line right here in the black. You're going to click. You don't let go though and you just drag out. And there's one of the eyelashes. Now that's a little too short for me. I want them to go out a little bit more. So we'll just control Z to get rid of those. And you just bring the scale up. And that's a lot better. It goes out more. So once you have the scale that you want, you just start clicking and dragging. And you don't have to do it this way for the eyelashes if you want. You can make them however you want. And you can put them wherever you want, basically. So, just go crazy with it, basically. <laughs>
once you have your eyelashes like how you want sorry I saw a couple more I wanted to mess with you're just going to zoom back out and now you're going to take your um, rectangle select tool you're going to find the middle of your project you're going to drag down and select your left eye once you do that you're going to go to edit and copy. And now you're going to go to new and paste the eye in. Now what you're going to do is get any of the color and colorize. And you see how that's like a light blue. You're going to want to make this a dark blue. Now the reason you're going to want this dark blue is because the darker you have your eyelashes these eyelashes the darker the eyelashes will appear in body shop so that's actually pretty good you can even make it a little bit lighter if you wanted to that way it's not like too much I like to have them dark so you make um, you have that and once it's the color you want you're just gonna go to edit copy and then you're going to paste it and then you're going to paste it again but this time you're going to take your flip tool and then you click and drag it to the right and it'll flip that you take your move tool and you're going to drag it over here and it'll snap into place nine times out of ten by itself you just want them evenly matched up Alright, once it is, you're just going to go to File and Save. And you're going to click Export. And you're going to go to Body Shop. And you click Refresh. And there are the eyelashes. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the picture for this swatch because it looks annoying and you want to give the people a nice preview of your eyes. So what you're going to do so you want to get as close to the sim's eyes as you can make sure it's nice and center and then you're going to press pr um, print screen on your keyboard it's right next to your F12 button and then you're going to go in GIMP and start a new one and you're going to paste this alright what you're going to do now is you're going to select one of the Sorry for you to start a new layer when you paste. Alright, there we go. And take your scale tool and you're going not your scale, I'm sorry. Your select tool that I showed you. And you're going to select your eye. There you go, you're gonna get edit, copy. And then you go back to this and you're gonna file, open, and it'll take you to your eyeliner folder and you click on swatch. And you just paste the eye in. And now you start adjusting the eye. Now make sure you leave a small rectangle down below because now what you're going to do is you're going to take your rectangle select tool and you're going to select this little rectangle down here. You're just going to take your paintbrush and fill it completely in with black or whatever color you want really. Then you're going to go to text tool change it to whatever color you want and then you take the text tool and you select in that little rectangle again 
and you can just type in like your username or something that way you can just say that your custom content is yours. I always put in NPC. I don't know why it went way over there. There we go. I'm going to change the size of it down. There we go. I always like fancy text. <laughs> Alright, and then once that looks good to you, you're just going to go once more to File, Save, you're going to click Export, and let's just minimize a few of these windows, shall we? And then once more, you're going to click Refresh, and there's your new picture. Sorry, I don't know why they don't make the makeup for these babies, I like to so I just click both of those. <laughs> and it says Enter Tooltip here, this is an optional thing you can do. Um, you know how when you're in like body shop or create a sim and you hover over an item and a little bar comes up and nine times out of ten it'll say like made by so and so this is where you f um, you fill it in there to do that I always put made by made by the NPC sim at YouTube dot com and I always put youtube.com because I'm not part of any Sims custom content making websites or sharing websites, whatever they're called. So anyway, once that's all done, you just click import and it will import to your game and we'll say custom content importation complete. And there's your eyelashes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful.